Good morning, it's Steve from Hornby Militaria again. Uh, now, this morning, I am near the village of Withall. Uh, that is north, northeast Worcestershire. It's about as close to Birmingham uh, as you're gonna get. Uh, it's a small community village just inside the M42. Good links to Birmingham, etc. But between 1939, 1959, there was an RAF base here. RAF Whithall. It wasn't a flying station, uh, there were no runways, uh, nothing like that, um, but during the period of the Second World War uh, the base fell under the uh, jurisdiction of RAF Balloon Command. Uh, these are guys that dealt with uh, barrage balloons. During the war the command was split into five groups Withall or Birmingham was the uh, headquarters of number 31 group. And they were in charge of approximately 600 square miles of land to the south of Birmingham, uh, including Coventry. Uh, they took care of the deployment, maintenance, repairs, management of barrage balloons. Now, the base itself has been cleared of buildings. Looking on uh, current imagery, what seems to have happened uh, is that to the western part of the site, which is over there, there's a golf course. To the eastern part of the site, which is over here, there is an office complex, uh, car park and the cricket pitch there as well, as well as Withall Transport Museum, which is excellent. Um, it seems as though the site was almost entirely bulldozed with everything being pushed towards the middle into this wooded area. Uh, it's a long thin strip uh, of woodland that isn't there on the overhead imagery on the Britain From Above website. So there's no buildings to see. Um, there are some artifacts uh, left here but largely I think this video is, is going to be using those old Britain from above images to, to show the site as it was. Uh, the site was cleared I think in the 1960s after the war it became a WAF uh, a station for um, those WAFs leaving the service uh, and after that it became an RAF Linguistics Centre. Base closed in 1959, subsequently cleared in the 60s. And like I say, everything was, was sort of pushed over, shoveled into this one big line. Uh, line of trees, line of uneven rough ground in the middle of the site. Anyway, I'm going to walk up here, because um, I know there are some bits left behind. Uh, but uh, hopefully I'm better find them. Okay, so this is the site in question. Um, as I've just mentioned, there's there's very little remaining, um, of essentially virtually nothing remaining of the airfield uh, or the air, what you would call it, the, 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 the station, I suppose. Um, there's a car park and cricket pitch with an office complex uh, here. Uh, this is Withall Transport Museum, there's a caravan park here, uh, another caravan park um, here, obviously a golf course on this side. Uh, the church building that is very prominent, uh, you can't really miss that, um, is there, and there is a modern, uh, more modern cemetery here as well. Now if I just roll that back to 1945-ish, um, I think th this imagery is taken late 1945-1946, um, when you go to airfields on, on this imagery, you often find an X across the bottom of the runway indicating the airfield is closed. That would suggest to me that the imagery is post-war, um, but it's it's going to be in very close to, um, the, uh, the, to the end of the war. Not entirely sure what a lot of these buildings were. I suspect these were living areas here. Uh, I suspect this was the uh, entrance into the base and some of the administration buildings. 
there are five buildings here that are very tall. You can see them on some of the, the, the side-on aerial imagery. I suspect these were uh, barrage balloon repair or storage uh, units. Um, and you can also see, uh, assumingly, presumably, concrete paths that run around the perimeter. And I believe these were tie-down points uh, for some barrage balloons. I suspect they were more to do with testing barrage balloons rather than them being permanently stationed here. Uh, it would seem a bit pointless to station all your barrage balloons here. Um, so I suspect they would have been uh, dotted across the southern approaches to Birmingham. This is Birmingham up here. Um, a few targets of interest, obviously the city centre straight up here. Um, this area here is the uh, MG Rover factory or what was at the time the Austin Works. Um, that's their flying field. They would fly Spitfires, Hurricanes, ferry battles out of there and they would also build Lancaster fuselages um, and bits of various other um, aircraft. That's Elmden which is now Birmingham Airport and then up here in Castle Vale there is the Jaguar factory. Uh, that's the Jaguar plant there and that at the time was producing Spitfires and again various other types of aircraft hangar there for their flying field and they flew their aircraft out of there um, there are a few aircraft dotted around there so this Google Earth imagery is very very good for working out what what you had in the uh, what, you, what, you know, what you had in the past and, and sort of placing what remains on the ground in its in its historical context um, but anyway, this is the site. Um, the area that I've just been walking in the introduction is this wooded area along here. Uh, so I've, you, the, you, you, there is a right of way that runs around the side of the site here and crosses straight through here. And that essentially is straight through the middle of the site here and then round the bottom of the church. There's the church building there. Um, so yeah, that's the path that you can walk when it turns up across and goes uh, past, the, uh, past the farm just there, which is there. As I've said, this wasn't a flying station. There were no runways here. Uh, there were some remains of something there. Like I say, this is where these buildings were pushed over and shoveled into the middle of the site. The eastern side of the site where the business park seems to comprise a number of, uh, quite a lot of buildings. Um, I know there was an officer's mess there. Uh, there was uh, uh, sick quarters, hospital, there was accommodation areas chapel the usual things you'd expect on an RAF site um, the rest of the site um, it almost looks like there was a perimeter track which led to a number of hard standings I've not got the photographs in front of me but it was either five or six hard standings and these hard standings were used to fly the balloons I don't know whether they were just to test the balloons once they've been repaired or whether they were permanently stationed here um, but you might be able to see behind me, we're in the right spot. This, from what I can gather from the maps, is an approximate position of one of the, uh, one of the hard standings. And these large concrete blocks are barrage balloon tie-down points. Let me just flip the camera around. Now I'm assuming these were basically just so large um, that they left them here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there were, there are, or well, there should be metal handles on them somewhere. You can't see them on those. Um, but if we carry on up, I know there are some more. Um, like I say, they've, they've just 
this is what they've left in the middle of the site. They've, they've all just uh, just pushed everything into a, a long line of ridges along the middle of the site. Anyway, I'll keep heading up, see if I can find those other ones. Break. Ah, here we go. So I found them. This is slightly further north on the site. Uh, this is another one of those uh, concrete lumps. There's the tie down point for the balloon. It's bent out of shape. There's a couple more over here as well. There's actually just one larger one, this. Again, just a big lump of concrete left in the middle of this wood. Uh, where they used to tie these balloons down. I'm going to talk quite slowly because I want to throw up some overhead imagery as well. Um, it's obviously the remains of some building here. A lot of uh, clay pipe work, things like that. So I've always found on these videos that I talk too quickly and you don't get to see any of the uh, you don't get to see any of the, the pictures for very long. So obviously remains of some sort of building here, or at least uh, a demolition pile. Where they've pushed the building over. Okay, now this is one of the images from Britain from above. Um, Britainfromabove.org.uk is a fantastic website. Um, these images, as you can see, are estimated to have been around 1946, which you can certainly you can certainly see that happening. Um, they don't cover all of the country, but they will cover most town and city centres, and a lot of the time things that are of local interest, so factories, um, military facilities, sometimes such as this. Um, now it's quite difficult to judge to get this uh, for the screen grab but I think that's probably about right there. Now the wooded area uh, that I've been uh, just walking through runs uh, approximately here. Now I suspect that the concrete blocks with the tie down points that I've just seen are from here and probably from this one as well. Um, the bits of rubble found are likely to be from around here. Now I suspect that when this site was cleared it was simply bulldozed over into a big ridge, a big pile that now runs along here which is why we're finding various bits along there. Obviously those concrete blocks with the tie down points were probably far too large to move so they just left them there. Um, some of these uh, these tabs, these markers um, I've added, um, some of them were already here so I can't vouch for the accuracy of all of them. This one balloon sheds uh, which seems to make perfect sense that I would assume is where they repaired, restored, serviced the barrage balloons before sending them up for a test flight on one of the uh, one of the pads here. Um, the church building is uh, right in the corner here and this is where the modern cemetery is. So Withal Transport Museum is roughly here in this area. Um, now from what I can see from this imagery, this I believe is a mess building. You've got the parade ground here. Um, I believe, but can't confirm, this might be the NAFI. Um, uh, this to me looks like a sewage facility down here. Um, main entrance here, by the look of it or at least an entrance there, possibly another entrance down here. Um, again, various workshops dotted around. Uh, this building there uh, is believed to be the Astra, the Camp Cinema. And there's a water tower here as well. Um, somebody has labelled that as the armoury. Not sure, I can't confirm that. Um, you can see the camouflage paint scheme on top of some of these buildings though. Uh, obviously still uh, still remaining. Um, the area in the foreground here, this is the golf course uh, now. Um, so yeah, it, it really is some fantastic 
uh, fantastic imagery. And there's not just one, there are several. Um, so this one, again, this shows the uh, the paint scheme, the camouflage paint scheme on these five buildings here, the repair sheds, we got workshops and various bits up here. The cricket pitch is now approximately here. Um, so it's, all this is basically gone, but uh, this is where the where the uh, the wooded area is that you can walk through. Uh, so there are a number of overhead images. Uh, again, this is these five sheds here, camouflage paint there. There's the church building at the top corner there. Uh, this might be a good one to blow up uh, a good size. Um, these to me look like uh, living huts. Uh, again, probably these are living huts down here. Seems to be this is the, the general living area and this is the area with the workshops. This is the living area. Okay, so I think that's about all we're going to get from RAF Withal. Um, please do study those photographs. Uh, they are incredibly detailed, very sharp as well for their age. Um, in terms of the site explore, there's, there's nothing, uh, nothing really to see, unless you like lumps of old concrete. Um, I'm gonna put up a picture now uh, that I took on a previous visit and it shows uh, another grouping of the balloon tie down points uh, in better condition than the ones I found on video. I think it's so overgrown in there now, uh, you just won't be able to, just, just couldn't find them. Um, but nevertheless, that's the original fence in there. I think the original fence line. You can see the concrete post, that's the original fence. Probably the original wire as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that's been useful. Uh, like I say, um, I'll put up all the links throughout the video for uh, what I've used, but it's a, it's a kind of a forgotten site really. Um, there's very little history available for it. You know, it wasn't particularly exciting or glamorous, it wasn't a flying station. Uh, but nevertheless, it's, it's still part of Worcestershire during the war. Uh, so I hope you found that interesting.